Yo, what is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I got some stuff that I need to open today. This is gonna be for the S13. I've had these for a couple months now and we had to push everything back because we're looking for a new place to live. We are in our new home now, baby, so... Are you guys ready? There are special items inside these boxes. Um, let's start with this one right here. Boom. Night Runner International. You guys, you guys might recognize that. We got a few more stickers right here. Boom. Check it out. Works Bell and Night Runner. This is a special collab item with Works Bell and Reggie's brand, Night Runner International. You know we gotta support the homie. You guys are probably wondering why we got a Works Bell quick release. Well, inside this box is, is a new Vertex X Night Runner collab steering wheel. Let's open this thing up and show you guys what it looks like. We got some Night Runner flight tags. Boom, Vertex. And right down here, Night Runner. And this is limited edition 93. If you guys didn't know, I was actually born in 93. Oh, look, check out the back. Vertex for Night Runner. So sick. And of course we have the Vertex horn. Almost forgot, one more thing. Reggie also sent me this Vertex X Night Runner collab t-shirt. Reggie, thank you so much for the dope stuff, dude. If you guys wanna check out Night Runner International, his Instagram is right here. I have a few more things coming from him, but you guys are gonna have to stay tuned and find out. You guys ready to throw this in the car? Let's go. Vu literally collects all of these. I know what it is already. Here you go, baby. Zav, thank you. You can take both of them, they're different. Oh, Zav. <laughs> I told you I wasn't kidding when I said Boo collects a whole shitload of these. Let me add these. I love these wheels so much. All right, let me show you guys the old steering wheel. So currently I'm running a Nardi inside the S13. I love the Nardi, but I think it's time for some change. I really like the NRG quick release, but it's gotta go. The new Works Bell X Night Runner is going in. Vertex steering wheel is officially on, baby. What do you guys think? I think the Vertex steering wheel complements the interior very well. So simple and so clean. What do you guys think? Do you guys like the Vertex steering wheel better? Or do you guys like the classic Nardi steering wheel? Let me know down in the comments below. Personally, I'm a fan of the Vertex steering wheel. I just like the style a lot better. Everybody has their own style though, so let me know. Damn, this is such a good looking steering wheel. Okay, the next thing I'm about to install on the S13 is very important for every single stance guy. You know what that is? Okay, let me show you guys. If you're a stance guy like me, you guys run a lot of stretch. This is the stretch in front. And here's my stretch in the back. But sometimes people go even crazier, like my GTR. The GTR is running a lot more stretch. There's also people that go even crazier stretch. And I don't think I'd ever go any crazier than this, to be honest. But the dangerous thing about running stretch tires is if you're running on low PSI, you're in danger of de-beating. De-beating is when the tire pops off the rim. And this can happen while you're driving. So in order to prevent that, I have the perfect solution. Inside this box is an active tire info display. You guys probably have seen the ones that I have installed on the GTR. Let me show you guys those first. Cause these are two different types of displays. Okay. 
Here's my other Vertex steering wheel. I got the Stance Nation one for the GTR. A lot of the OG subscribers know that I use this one for the GTR. This one uses the cigarette lighter and tells you the PSI on here. After having the car on for a second, it'll tell you exactly how much it'll tell you exactly how much PSI you have in each tire. However, in this box, it's completely different. This one's connected to the cigarette lighter, while this one is completely Bluetooth and connects only to your phone. So for those that don't have a cigarette lighter, this is the perfect alternative. Because right now the cigarette lighter in my S13 actually doesn't work. I've never put the time into fixing it and they actually sent me one. So you know what? Still kind of lazy. So we're probably not going to fix the cigarette lighter for a little while. Let's open this up and see how it works because I've never used this one before. Oh fuck, it was the wrong way. <laughs> it looks exactly like the old box, except it doesn't have the little screen. Let's throw these all on. Front right, rear right, front left. It tells you exactly where to put all of these. There we go. Okay, this is my first time using the app. It's called Smart TPMS. Let's open it up. Okay, so from the screen, you can put in you put in the sensor IDs from the instruction booklet, and that's all you need, I believe. Okay, I have it all set up, and when you go into settings, you can actually set the highest PSI and the lowest PSI here. What? That is sick. I read the instructions over again. Drive the car for about 5 to 10 minutes, and it'll turn on Bluetooth. See you guys in about 5 to 10 minutes. Okay, so I drove around the car for about 2 minutes, and... I got a reading. There we go, that's my reading. I have 37 here, 45, 46, and 44. A little bit low on this side, but that's why I got bags, baby. I have a compressor in the back, so we'll be able to pump up the tires at any time. There it is. Compressors are on. That's it, we're all done. That's all there was to it. Honestly, I prefer the one you plug into the cigarette lighter, but for those that don't have that, I definitely recommend the one with the Bluetooth option. If you guys like the active tire display, Drift Dialex makes it, so be sure to check it out. Okay guys, so one last question. You guys gotta tell me which one's your favorite. Do you guys like the Stance Nation Vertex steering wheel? The Nardi? Or the Vertex Night Runner steering wheel? Let me know. Out of all three, mine has to be the Stance Nation one, just because, I don't know, I think Stance Nation was what started this whole car thing for me, so huge shout out to Stance Nation. You know what, since today is S13 day, I have something that I need to fix on the S13. Having bags is so convenient. All I gotta do is just air up, and we can fit anything under the car, like a jack. Okay, turns out I was wrong. I don't think the tension rod bracket is loose at all. We think the inner tie rod could be bad, but you know what? Luke's gonna come home a little bit later. He's gonna double check for us to make sure. Boo and I haven't gone to the skate park in a long time. Haven't touched the skateboard in a few months, so you know what? Today's just a chill ass day, so I'll take you guys with me. Let's go. Guys. It's fucking pouring right now. <laughs> we drove about halfway there and it started fucking pouring. So we don't know what to do now. So we pulled into... We pulled into the plaza with the new seven leaves. It's kind of a good thing it started raining, you know why? The battery is blinking. I know, dude. I think like, <laughs> like better hurry up because... Yeah, we, we probably wouldn't have gotten anything anyways. Let's go inside and grab a drink and... I don't know, go home and hang out. <laughs> Luke is back home, guys. We got the professional checking it out. What do you think so far, Luke? I mean, it's pretty common to blow out steering racks with these uh, offset tie rod spacers because it puts a lot of extra tension on it since it's pushing at a weird angle. Oh! <laughs>
Because, I mean, looking at it and shaking the wheel, you don't see like the control arm or the tension rod or anything mm -hmm. moving. Uh, but the tie rod and the steering rack are clearly shaking. That's shitty, but... Fuck it, it happens. Yeah. Um, the best thing to do is relocate your steering rack and get rid of the offset, offset tires. Because yeah. basically now you have a leverage point. I guess when it turns, it's binding because mm -hmm. it's trying to overforce it instead of just being able to push out. Mm -hmm. Fuck it. All the noise is coming from the inner tie rod. I'm not a mechanic, so just a YouTube mechanic. I think we found the problem. You want to explain what we just did? Uh, yeah, I'm grabbing the inner um, tie rod and you can feel play like when it's rocking because this is basically just like a big it's a ball, ball. Joint, right? yeah so you can feel like slop in when you grab the joint when you shake the wheel and you feel it rocking inside of itself that sounds like you know when you grab the uh the joint <laughs> just kidding <laughs> I knew you were gonna go there. Um, <laughs> if it's not that then it's actually coming from the steering rack itself and um you have another set of inner tie rods though so it's I do. easy enough to start with that and then if you still have an issue you probably need steering exactly rack. i have replacement inner tie rods right here from ppm as well but uh i think they're a little bit too long so i have to go back to drip cave and get some shorter ones but we do have some and we can test that out but you know what i'm not going to drive this car for a little bit i am kind of lazy so we'll probably do that in another video it's not, but it doesn't seem detrimental or dangerous it's not like having the tie rod or the tension rod bracket loose where it could potentially fall off and then you lose shit exactly it's but luke what are we going to be doing this weekend to the skyline we're going to be manual swapping it yep so stay tuned so we're going to be welding the diff so the car's going to be ready to slide real soon if you guys want to see any stuff that luke has been working on head to his channel and go subscribe i've been giving a whole bunch of things to luke to do <laughs> for me because i'm too lazy to do it but uh it's all gonna be on his channel so if you want to go support the homie go subscribe I also got the other rails for the second bride seat for the GTR. So we're probably going to be installing those real soon too. Oh. Alright guys, that's a wrap for today's video. I know today we didn't do as much as I'd like, but you know what? I want to really try my best to hammer out all these vlogs for you guys. And just because we didn't have a lot to do doesn't mean... I don't know where the fuck I was going with that. <laughs> you know what? Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm really trying my best to hammer out as many vlogs as possible to make up for last month. So, almost at 500K. Please, if you guys haven't subscribed, go down there. And if you guys want to cop any merch, head to the website, support us. Um, that's it for today's video. Deuces. What's up, Eliminate channel? Me and Kevin here, just chilling, getting the orders done. Kevin's getting the orders done. I'm not doing anything, but I'm keeping company. Um, I just saw that Randy left his camera on the table. So I wanted to show you guys something. For all you subscribers out there, special sneak peek. Are you ready? Oh! Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.